Hi everyone, CyberTutor here. Imagine this, you walk into a cafe, connect to the Wi-Fi, and boom, you're online. Ever wonder how your device gets an IP address so quickly? That's DHCP in action. And later we'll see how CIDR optimizes how networks are divided and routed. Let's dive in. DHCP, or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, is a network service that automatically assigns IP addresses to devices. Instead of manually configuring each device, DHCP ensures every device gets a unique IP address, along with other network settings like the subnet mask, gateway, and DNS server. Without DHCP, network admins would have to manually assign IP addresses, a time-consuming and error-prone process. DHCP automates this, saving time and reducing mistakes, especially in large networks. Here's how DHCP works. When a device joins the network, it sends a discover message asking for an IP address. The DHCP server responds with an offer containing an available IP. The device sends a request to confirm it wants that IP. The DHCP server sends an acknowledge, finalizing the assignment. This process ensures every device gets a unique IP, preventing conflicts. From a cybersecurity perspective, understanding DHCP is important because attackers can exploit it. For example, a rogue DHCP server could assign fake IP addresses, redirecting users to malicious sites. Always secure your DHCP servers with authentication and monitor for unusual activity. Now let's talk about CIDR or classless interdomain routing. While DHCP helps assign IPs, CIDR determines how those IPs are grouped and routed. CIDR replaced the older system of classful networking, which divided IP ranges into fixed classes A, B, C. With CIDR, we use a more flexible system by adding a slash notation, like slash 24, to the IP address. This tells us how many bits are used for the network portion and how many are left for individual devices. CIDR allows networks to be broken into subnets, improving efficiency. For example, Instead of wasting a large block of IPs on a small department, Sitter lets you allocate just the right amount. This flexibility helps conserve IP addresses and optimize network performance. For cybersecurity, subnetting with CIDR can isolate sensitive areas of the network, limiting the spread of potential attacks. A breach in one subnet won't easily affect others. DHCP and CIDR often work hand in hand. CIDR defines the subnets, and DHCP assigns IP addresses within those subnets. Together, they make networks scalable and easier to manage. And from a security standpoint, this combination ensures proper segmentation, reducing attack surfaces. Whether it's a corporate office, a home Wi-Fi network, or a massive data center, DHCP and CIDR are at work. For instance, in a corporate setup, CIDR might create separate subnets for HR and IT, while DHCP dynamically assigns IPs to employees' devices. To secure your network, secure your DHCP servers, use authentication and monitor for rogue servers, monitor IP assignments, keep an eye on unexpected changes or conflicts, use subnetting with CIDR, isolate critical systems to limit exposure in case of an attack. To recap, DHCP automates IP address assignments, making networks easy to manage, while CIDR provides the flexibility to organize and route IPs efficiently. Together, they're fundamental to building secure, scalable networks. And as cybersecurity professionals, understanding these tools helps you protect and optimize network infrastructures. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, check out our previous episode on Network Address Translation, NAT, for another key concept in networking. And don't forget to visit our blog, Cyber News on Substack, where we break down complex cybersecurity topics into simple, daily updates. Hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell icon to stay updated. Let's keep learning and securing networks together. Until next time, stay informed, stay vigilant, and stay secure.